cannot win a race in the first corner. Even if it's Monaco and you get the, the lead in the first corner, you still have to drive the whole race after that. I'm the opinion that you're never going to win a race in turn one. There is a higher chance that you're going to lose it in turn one instead of winning it. So uh, I'm the guy on the safe side. I think it's the best chance to make up ground, but it's also the riskiest one. So it's a bit like any gamble. Uh, you know, the biggest uh, reward for a crazy maneuver is first corner. In the first corner, you make a wild move, you can pass five cars. It's true, but it depends on the kind of racing you do. If you go into a 24-hour race or a six-hour race, it makes no sense at all to win, try to win it in corner one. If you go for DTM, it's a bit different. If you gain three position in the first corner, it, you know, it's quite something. There's a real opportunity to make up a lot of a lot of times, a lot of places, but there's also the risk that goes with that, that you've got a good chance of making contact, damaging the car a bit, maybe crashing, and that's the kind of risk sort of reward thing you're looking at. Crash in corner one, you win nothing, but if you make the positions and you go for it and it works, it's a good move and it will make a big difference for the race. It's a time in the race where you can probably make up the most places because the cars are closest together. You're not going at racing speed, really. So yeah, it's really your best chance to overtake. I suppose it matters a lot on the circumstance. If you're confident of making a good start in general, what position you are in the championship, if you need to go aggressive or you need to probably go a little bit more conservative. There's so many variations. From my side, the biggest thing is how confident you are of making a good start. Before we do a race start, we all look at all the previous race starts at that track and look at what happened and try and get a feel of where people tend to go, where the, the risky areas are, where the safe bits are, and then you decide what you want to do. You have to kind of visualise where you are on the grid, what you realistically can achieve and need to achieve uh, the first corner. First of all, I always look which cars are around me, which drivers are around me, because you kind of know which drivers you're driving with. But you have drivers who attack the start especially, take a lot of risk and try to overtake one or two cars and then hit each other and spun. Because we are all racing drivers and uh, as soon as we, we have our helmet on, sometimes the brain stops uh, working. You learn the drivers. So you know the series you're racing and you know this driver A, B and C, these are good guys, I can be a little bit more aggressive in turn one because they're gonna respect me. Oh, no, I have these guys, I cannot be aggressive because they will not respect me, they're aggressive, we might crash. You have to trust the other drivers that if you go for a gap that's there, uh, they're not gonna just shut the door and crash with you basically. So you have to judge the situation you're in. You can try to obviously dive in in the first corner, but you have to remember that your tires are not on temperature and the pressures are not there. And um, you know, it's also a lot of risk. You, you try to think ahead for the next corner, but again, it's not that easy said because imagine you go with 18 cars into corner one and you're in the middle of the field. I mean, if you're in the front, it's quite easy, but let's say you're fighting with three, four guys. Sometimes you get pushed to a position where you are and then you try to get the best out of it. But obviously uh, the inside normally is the, the safer side. If you try to overtake someone on the outside, there's always a high risk that someone misses his breaking point and just runs you off the road. You know, you try to make a good clean start, that's the key. Then you don't have to defend, then you look forward. If you don't have a good takeoff, then you obviously try to block the guys behind. Sometimes into turn one you'll have to defend if they're right behind you. Um, but as soon as you come out of turn one, I mean, if you have a bit of a gap, it's best not to defend. Because uh, if you defend, you're going to compromise your exit and then they could have another chance of overtaking you. I'm actually more thinking about uh, positioning for three and four, um, which is really where the overtaking really starts also. Uh, breaking into those two and positioning the car then onto the straight. I always try to have a strategy in mind, but then I react to whatever is happening. You need to have a strategy before the race, if I go aggressive or not. But sometimes even, you know, if I'm saying I'm not going aggressive, but then there is an opening, a gap somewhere, obviously I try to dive in, but without lots of risk. You know, I used to, when I was younger, I tried to always uh, like pre-see or preview my my starts and it, and when you do that and then you get there and nothing ever happens like you like you previewed it and then it goes it goes wrong because you you had something in your mind that it's not what's happening there so honestly what I try to do is just go with the most open mind possible but I think if you prepare too much uh, for turn one you try to anticipate too much turn one you're gonna end up being 
not driving by instinct and racing is a little bit driven by instinct. Turn one, it is, it is a very important corner, but don't do anything too rash. Be aggressive, but be smart.